Hello folks and welcome back to UK Rails and More. Hope you're all keeping safe and well and uh, certainly if you're in the UK, which I imagine most of you are, then uh, you're enjoying this fantastic weather that we've got today on Wednesday. Uh, so today um, I'm going to be just giving you a short review and a detailed look at a new addition to the fleet. So this is a Class 57 by Backmans. It's a DRS livery and it is Chadvara or Chadvara, I presume I'm uh, pronouncing that correctly. Uh, but if not, please let me know in the comments. Um, yeah, so I'll uh, unbox this uh, and I won't attempt that with one hand as per usual. Uh, and then we'll have a good detailed look at it. So we'll uh, bring you back in a sec. Bye for now. OK, folks, welcome back. Let's have a nice detailed look at this uh, Class 57 by Backman's Direct Rail Services, Chadvara, and it's number 57302. Now, if you watch some of my previous videos, you'll know that I'm very uh, keen on the DRS livery, um, and I've got some ideas for the main layout uh, of building some kind of uh, DRS TMD, or at least a section of one. So uh, these will be featuring quite a bit on the uh, on the wish list, shall we say. Um, this one was one that I thought was quite interesting. Um, it's particularly uh, great livery, uh, and also because of its usual uh, duties for direct rail services. Think, if you're not already aware, think uh, RAC or AC uh, or AA, uh, basically uh, recovering uh, pendolinos and things like that. Uh, by all means, if uh, if anyone's got anything to add to this uh, or correct anything I say, please do so in the comments below. Uh, but I'm by no means any expert at this, but just from what I've read, uh, and it's got a, a slightly enhanced front end there to allow it to do that, uh, which I thought was really interesting. Uh, now, this one you've probably picked up is a weathered version. So let's just have a good look. Uh, the first thing noticing on the front is there is a lot of detail you can just about see the driver in there so you've even got the rivets if you can see that on the camera around the outside of the windows the wipers you can see the weathered effect of the wipers where you've got that grime build up on the outside of the cab going down you've got the handrail you've got the detail signs and as I say, you've got a really interesting front end there. So that, uh, that different type of coupling. Um, also, you've got the weathering there on the buffers and the normal kind of hook type coupling at the bottom with the chain at the bottom there as well. Uh, they are spring loaded buffers. You've got the number in there on the front end as well. So moving along the side, let's try and keep this nice and focused. Okay, there's the driver in the side. Very nice door detail and signage. And the metal at the bottom there. And very nice bogies with uh, additionally painted uh, suspension and axle boxes and pipe work which is very nice feature uh, just moving back up the livery you've got lots of detailed signage on the bottom and you've got very crisp direct rail services livery which is good again lots of signing and the doors and then I particularly like this as well, because you've got these uh, details at the bottom, which is really good detail, really nicely done. Even looking at the gauges around here, the various danger signs. So yeah, if you don't get much more detail than this one, that's what I really liked about this particular locomotive. 
signage Chadvara again really nice and crisp you do get the additional metal signs that you can add to this as well I'm just moving along to the other end okay hopefully the light it is a bit later in the afternoon that I would have liked to have made this review but hopefully that lighting detail is okay for you okay in the back you've got that same type of coupling but you've also got the uh the conventional coupling type so you can attach it as per most things you've got the uh the options in the additional pack that i'll show you in a minute so you've got the other options as well but all in all a really nice locomotive let's go back along and let's take a look at the roof which was another area that I really like. So you've got the aerials on the front and then you've got lots of grills along the side here. You've got the usual grills with the fans behind them. If you can see that. Okay, lots of rivet detail. Try and focus in again. Inspection hatches. loads of rivet detail on the top there and then you've got the weathering there that you can see around the exhaust it's relatively lightly weathered but uh i think that's a, a good thing uh, and again the aerial on the other end of the roof there okay so this will be a really uh good member of the fleet uh and i was thinking it'd probably be used quite a bit just as a a locomotive that will be either parked up somewhere in a yard and then when it's not doing that in the TMD uh, it's just a real nice locomotive just to have running around the layout uh, just as a single single header locomotive uh, as if it's going out called out to a job somewhere so yeah I will bring you back in a second let's just have another look at our driver in there Uh, just another look at the uh the upper cab which is uh really good uh you've got the window half open there i don't know if you can see that and then yeah just dirt the dirt that's accumulated on the second window so really good uh weathering details okay and a quick look at some of the additional uh details that you get in the pack so there you've got the metal Chandvara signs and also you've got the additional bag with the various uh, snow plows different uh, cabling pipes hosing etc okay folks uh, if you uh, don't want to hang around just for the information on the box then thanks very much for watching uh, I will have soon another running session in the garden where we'll be putting Chadvara through his paces uh, in the lockdown layouts in the garden uh, also there'll be uh, some further updates on the lockdown layout as well where I'm just going to enhance some of the scenery uh, so if you uh, if you want to leave it there uh, again thanks very much for watching if you want some more information on Chad Vara I'll give you those details now so the British Rail Class 57 is a re-engineered locomotive rebuilt by Brush Traction at Loughborough from redundant Class 47 locomotives between 1997 and 2004. They are fitted with a refurbished General Motors engine and a reconditioned alternator to improve reliability and performance. Enthusiasts have nicknamed the locomotives Body Snatchers because the body of the Class 47 has been stripped, rewired and re-engined. In 1997, Freightliner placed an order for six Class 57 locomotives with the first being released in 1998. Twelve named locomotives were built and finished in the company's green-yellow livery. In 2002, Virgin Trains ordered 12 units classified as 57 free, with a revised power unit delivering 2,750 horsepower, enabling a top speed of 95 miles per hour. They were painted in the company's distinctive livery of red, white and silver, and as their primary function was to act as emergency rescue locomotives, they were named after the characters in the 1960s TV series Thunderbirds. 
the order was increased to a total of 16 and all the locomotives were modified with automatic Delna coupling devices for use with Voyager and Pendolino units. Brush Engineering developed a passenger demonstrator locomotive, a Type 57-6 for the leasing company Porterbrook, which carried a very distinctive silver and purple livery. The locomotive was later purchased by West Coast Railway Company and was painted in a plain maroon livery with black stripe. In 2003, First Great Western took delivery of four 57-6 locomotives, all named after castles to work the Paddington to Penzance sleeper service. In 2007, half of the Freightliner fleet was released by Porterbrook to direct rail services. Arriva Trains West Wales obtained three of Virgin's Class 57 free locomotives. In 2008, and Advenza Freight purchased two ex Freightliner locomotives painted in the Advenza Freight livery. And that's information from the box. So I hope you found that review useful. And for anyone interested in purchasing this locomotive, it's giving you a nice detailed look at uh, what I think is a very nice locomotive. I always like the Class 47s, uh, and this is uh, is just a very nice additional of 57, a uh, nice addition to the fleet. So thanks very much for watching. Uh, please subscribe if you want to be notified of more with the notification bell. Uh, but take care yourselves, and I'll speak to you on the next one. Bye for now.